this is a typical, what I call our signature bouquet. A beautiful bouquet made out of recycled flowers, blooms taken from donated centerpieces used only once at funerals, weddings, or corporate events that would otherwise be thrown away. They make beautiful arrangements for other people to get joy from. Joyce Belfay of Hudson started the nonprofit Power of Flowers project 11 years ago. She and her army of volunteers deconstruct the donated arrangements, create fresh bouquets, and gift them to seniors throughout New Hampshire. I think it's difficult for a lot of older people to stay connected um, with friends and family, and the single act of delivering a bouquet to somebody, um, whether it's in a nursing home or through a Meals on Wheels program, um, is, it's just, one, it, it's a joyful thing. The surprise delivery brightened up 93-year-old Annette Aslan's day, who moved into Langdon Place of Nashua, a senior community, one year ago. Oh boy, that's great. They're, Those are just, for you. they're beautiful. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. I love them. Annette's daughter appreciates the thoughtfulness. It's nice to get fresh flowers for no reason. Yes. Mm. Spreading joy is why volunteer Stacy Sweet signed up. It just warms you, that's all. It's, it's my favorite thing to do is deliver them. Power of Flowers was Stacy's first foray in floral arranging. It's got a lot of white in it. But now she's a pro, picking off petals that won't last and using color and texture to create vibrant bouquets. I like the sunflowers, I like the daisies, I like the boxwood for greens. She and the team craft 100 bouquets a day, six days a week. They can turn one large donated arrangement like this one into two or three bouquets. The first step, break them down. So these roses here um, are just too soft to, to last for any length of time. They'll only use blooms that'll be fresh for at least a week. You can see that there's some beautiful flowers in here. We have orchids, we have a tropical flower, protea, we have a beautiful um, daisy in here. So far, the Powers of Flowers project has delivered 100,000 bouquets. Each one of these bouquets could retail for up to $25 to $30. So, you know, there's no way that we could ever touch that many people, you know, if we had to buy these flowers. Happy birthday to you. Birthday, birthday parties hold a special place in Katie Kachajan's heart. Happy when I was growing up, my mom was super into birthdays. She loved them. We would wake up in the morning and there would be chocolate chip pancakes and balloons on the table. And it was just always a big event. We had themed birthday parties and homemade birthday cakes. Too. Even now, as a mom herself, Katie revels in the celebration and the hoopla. Go under! Woo! Her heart breaks for kids who miss out on birthday parties. That's what inspired her to start a nonprofit that throws birthday bashes for homeless children and struggling families. She teamed up with Seacoast Family Promise in Exeter, and on this day, they celebrate Evan, who turns eight years old. Make a wish! Yay! The kids get to feel special. The kids get to be acknowledged and have a special day where they get to do the cupcakes and the pizza and the balloons. She named her nonprofit after her mother, who was only able to celebrate a handful of birthdays with Katie. Her mom passed away when Katie was 11. My sister actually helped me come up with the idea of Peggy's parties, which um, Peggy is my mom. And I just knew that this is something that she would be at every single party. She would be here, she'd be in full support, she'd be hanging balloons and um, singing happy birthday and very <laughs> off-key sounds. <laughs> Katie's heart melts when she sees parents' joy. They're going through some tough stuff, a lot of them, and this gives them an opportunity to kick back and not think about their worries and not think about their finances and not have to be concerned on how much this party is going to cost, but kick back and smile and laugh and play with their kids. Peggy's parties recently held a birthday bash for this mom's five-year-old son. This is actually, this is very kind and very, very sweet. Most of the goodies, the cupcakes, pizza, balloons, activity booths, and gift bags are all donated. 
I had 103 toothbrushes show up at my house this week. 103, I was like, I needed 18, 103 is awesome, thank you. <laughs> it's incredible. The, the generosity of this community has really just been unbelievable. Creating memorable moments for kids in helping make Katie's own dream come true. It combines everything that I love, everything that I love. It, it's, it's family, it's children, it's birthdays, it's giving back, it's, it's teaching kindness.